Hey, I'm Srini Rao, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the book, How to Take Smart Notes, and then show you how you can use the ideas in this book with Mem to maximize your creative output, to increase your productivity, and dramatically reduce the amount of time it takes to create new content. Before we start, I want to tell you about our free note-taking mini course that will help you take better notes on books, podcasts, lectures, and so much more. If you want to build a personal library of wisdom that's easy to access, always at your fingertips, and allows you to apply the ideas to your business, to your personal life, or to your creative work, just click on the link below in the description. How to Take Smart Notes is a book that will completely transform how you read and write. And it's based on the work of a German social scientist named Nicholas Luhmann, who wrote 58 books and 500 papers in his lifetime. The methods in this book are incredibly powerful because they force you to take notes by rewriting what you've learned in your own words. Unlike the typical note-taking method of underlining, highlighting, and copying and pasting things into your note-taking app, the principles of smart notes are contingent on two ideas. One, elaboration is critical, and two, elaboration enhances your understanding and your ability to remember what you've learned. As you start to use the smart note system, one of the things you'll begin to notice is the principle of compound interest taking effect. What do I mean by that? The more notes that you add, the more valuable your collection of notes will start to become, and it will lead to an exponential increase in your ability to create new knowledge. Now, let's get into the tutorial. So there are three main types of notes that make up the smart note system, fleeting notes, literature notes, and permanent notes. Fleeting notes are the notes you're gonna take while you're reading. You're gonna capture ideas, insights, and thoughts that occur to you. I recommend using a notebook for your fleeting notes, and on each note, you'll write down a page number and whatever that insight was in a very brief sentence. And once a day, you wanna review your fleeting notes or you're likely to forget what they're actually about. So then what you're going to do is once a day, you're going to review your fleeting notes. And then based on those fleeting notes, you're going to create literature notes. And anytime you come across an idea or insight that you wanna remember a quote, create a mem for it, then rewrite it in your own words and include the quote or passage that led to the literature note and link it to the original source. What you'll see here is that I have the original source, everything that's already tagged as a literature note. And one way to do this really easily inside of Mem is to actually use a template. And what you can do is you can create a template for your literature notes. So that way, rather than having to type out the tag every single time you create a new literature note, you can then automatically just with backslash bring up the literature note template and it will automatically add the tag to your literature notes. Some people just add related notes based on whatever the tags are. And you can see here that based on the tags, you'll have certain related notes that show up. But one of the things that Sonk Aaron says is that making good cross references is a matter of serious thinking and a crucial part of the development of your thoughts. And the best way to do that is to link notes within the sentences that you write of all your other notes. So let me show you an example. So you can see here that I have a literature note based on this quote from the book Power for All, but I've also linked several other relevant notes and used them in the sentences. And that makes your cross references much more effective because instead of a disconnected collection of notes, you end up with a connected collection of ideas. The third type of note inside of the smart note system is a permanent note. And a permanent note is your primary insight. It's something that you can understand without context. It's an original insight that you got from your reading and you'd know what it was referring to in the future without knowing where it came from. And one of the things that you'll find is that while you're writing literature notes, you'll actually end up coming up with permanent notes that are original insights based on your reading. And the beauty of the smart note system is that it allows you to have insight without taking immediate action because you can create bi-directional links within your literature notes. So a lot of these notes here don't actually have anything in them. They were just linked inside of other literature notes, but I had an idea and I wasn't ready to take action on it. But because of the fact that I can link those original ideas to my literature notes, it becomes a note-taking system that basically ensures that you never forget any idea you have. 
Now, where this really starts to become powerful is not with each individual note, but the combination of all of your notes. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to write an article titled Becoming a Master Bullshit Detector, which is something that I came up with after reading a book called The Life-Changing Science of Detecting Bullshit. Now, I tagged all of my various literature notes from that book with the tag Detecting Bullshit, and you can see here that I actually have all of the content. Now, there are a couple of different ways that we could do this. I can actually just cut and paste this, or what I can do is I can bring up Mem Spotlight and start assembling all of this together in a matter of minutes. So what you'll see here is basically that in a matter of a few minutes, I have the foundation for the first draft of an article that I want to write. And where the real work begins is in the editing and putting the pieces of the puzzle together in an order that makes sense. And that's why Smart Notes is such a powerful system and allows you to exponentially increase your ability to create new knowledge. Because of the fact that you have all of these notes, you're never starting from scratch. And if you have any questions about the SmartNote system, just leave them in the comments below.